We're talking about mental wellness and perpetual guardian money matters. Now, we often assume that we'll always have the ability to make decisions for ourselves, but sadly that is not always the case. 60,000 people are living with dementia in New Zealand. With us this, with us this morning, rather, we have Charlotte Lockhart from Perpetual Guardian and Lorraine Hunter from Westpac. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Charlotte, when it comes to enduring powers of attorney or EPAs, as that's what the people who know what it's all about so call them, mm. there are two types to think about, aren't there? Yes, so we've got um, property and personal care and welfare and so personal care, care and welfare is um, what allows a family member usually to make decisions about your medically and for your health. Yeah. But your property one is what Lorraine's here um, and, and, um, concerned with, with her dementia processes through their business around keeping people safe with their money. Because you do hear these horrible stories about people getting losing all their money by being scammed by people. So Lorraine, Westpac has got this dementia initiative. Why was this established? Um, initially it was because my dad, Jerry, was diagnosed with, with Alzheimer's when he was 64. And before he died, he made me promise that I would do something to help people like him that were living with the illness. And so I... Um, I was aware that a bank in Scotland, Bank of Scotland and Alzheimer's Scotland had created a dementia friendly initiative and so I got in touch with them and they very kindly shared all of their information with me and um, we were at, able to adapt that in Westpac to roll it out for Kiwis. And your Westpac colleagues are drawing on their own personal experiences aren't they? Let's take yeah. a look at this. My mum uh, has dementia and I've watched as the you know the disease has progressed and reflected on what must it be like you know for someone like my mum particularly someone who might not have family supporters as, as my mum has uh, coming in and trying to do their day-to-day -day things including their banking um, as, as the sort of the confusion and the disease takes hold. Gosh so you were just telling me before, Lorraine, that two in three New Zealanders are affected by dementia. That's right. That just seems extreme. Those figures are quite terrifying. So what should we do to assist our loved ones if they're being diagnosed with dementia? Come and talk to the bank. Um, for Westpac, we have trained all of our staff, all our frontline staff, to understand what it's like to have dementia and how to assist people living with the illness. And we've also looked at our branch environment to make sure that they're really easy to navigate. Um, and we've used international standards to do that. We've, um, we've even established an HR policy for our own staff. So come and talk to us and we can put in place um, account structures to make it really easy to keep people safe and to set up automatic payments, direct debits, to try and take away anything that they may forget to do. Um, but just to try and really keep people as independent as possible for as long as possible. Which is a wonderful thing and that peace of mind is just absolutely priceless too. It makes you realise just how important, doesn't it Charlotte, how important it is to have our, that we formalise all of our intentions. Well and it's much easier for families when they know what everybody's supposed to do. And it, People are people. Fraud's a big thing that happens in, uh, in dementia mm. um, in families, and so having an EPA, technical term, there, got um, the jargon. Yeah, I know, yeah. I got the jargon, um, allows families to know who's to do what, but it also gives banks permission to talk to people um, and makes it nice and simple for everyone. That's Excellent. Right. Well, Lorraine, thank you so much for joining us today. You're Charlotte welcome. as well. Really wonderful advice there. And Charlotte, we will see you next time on Perpetual Guardian Money Matters.